Hello, my name is Angelo Strolopus and I want to share with you what I have found drawing from my extensive experience working with country leaders of the third sector worldwide in over 100 countries. I have found that many of them grapple with the challenge of leading without authority. This is a nuanced concept that requires the ability to guide and inspire individuals without having formal power or hierarchical control over them. In this journey, the cornerstone has always been building robust relationships rooted in trust. This can only be achieved by showing reliability, consistency, and honesty in every interaction. But trust is just the beginning. One must be the embodiment of their behavior, the, of the behavior that they want others to emulate, whether it's work ethic, emotional intelligence, or problem-solving abilities. Others will naturally gravitate towards and follow a good example. Understanding the needs, motivations, and perspectives of others forms the backbone of this style of leadership. The ability to empathize and comprehend these aspects can guide a leader in molding their approach to influence others more effectively. Communication is the glue that holds everything together. Articulating thoughts, ideas, and expectations with clarity while fostering an environment where dialogue is open and encouraged can take a leader a long way. Active listening forms a crucial part of this process, making others feel heard and valued. In my experience, Leaders who inspire and motivate their teams tend to succeed in exercising influence without authority. By painting a clear vision and inspiring others towards it, they create an atmosphere of enthusiasm and drive. Acknowledging others' efforts and celebrating their achievements also goes a long way in cementing this inspiration and motivation. A spirit of collaboration is key to this style of leadership, by making everyone feel valued and heard, and an integral part of the team, leaders can create an environment where ideas and responsibilities are shared, fostering a sense of ownership among team members. Leaders are more likely to gain the respect of their teams when they showcase competence in their area of expertise. This is another aspect of leading by example, showing your team that you know what you're talking about and can perform at a high level. Finally, networking is a powerful tool that often gets overlooked. By establishing connections across the organization, a leader can access a wealth of resources and allies, which can be extremely helpful in leading without authority. In conclusion, leading without authority is a challenging yet rewarding endeavor. It calls for balancing influence with respect for others' autonomy. But when done right, it can lead to a more inclusive and engaged work environment, a lesson learned from many years working closely with leaders across the globe. I am Angelo Strolopos and I would like to read your comments below.